guys. Um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit. I'm sitting here with Felix and we're just kind of chilling. It's been a long work day and it's really nice to unwind and, and spend some time together. Anthony's off at a uh, work event they're celebrating. Uh, one of his coworkers got a promotion, so they're out celebrating. Um, but I just wanted to talk about um, our adventure the other day when Anthony and I went to the IKEA, which I'm going to put some clips of it in right here. <laughs> ago we hadn't been to it yet and um, now that we have our own house Ikea is kind of like uh, like Lowe's it's like our candy store like we just we were so excited to go check it out we've been to a, a couple Ikea's before in the past um, when I got my first apartment I went to Ikea and I bought a whole bunch of stuff um, really easy uh, things to put together. Sometimes Ikea is great because it's really cheap and um, they have a ton of different things to choose from and other times Ikea stinks because the furniture is ridiculous to put together and you get so frustrated and half the time it doesn't even turn out how you want it to. We had a um, dresser that I bought 
and my dad put it together. I think I helped a little bit. And it, what, like the directions were no help. And when we were all finished, like said and done with it and we built it, like the drawers wouldn't even close all the way. <laughs> So a word to wise, if you've never been to Ikea, just be careful whatever you get because it comes totally unassembled and you have to assemble it yourself. Um, oh, I'll show you right here, this um, table right here in front of me, this is from Ikea. Like that, um, the TV stand, the TV stand, it's actually a bookcase, that's from Ikea. So Anthony and I, uh, we really like Ikea. Um, so we wanted to go check it out. We wanted to see, you know, what could we do possibly with our house. Thankfully, the Ikea is actually really close to us, so we didn't have to even drive that far. Um, and you go in, and Ikea is huge. All, every Ikea I've ever been to is enormous. We went in there, well, the one that we went to, it had 26 different stations for you to go through. And all of the stations were huge. Like it wasn't just like, oh, it's just a little tiny like corner of a room and then it's the next section. No, it's like a whole like side of a floor. Almost every section they had like rooms set up. This is what I love about Ikea. They have rooms set up with, um, like a sample room with all of their items and it can kind of show you like what what a room would look like if you use like this 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 like all these different items and it's really cool because some of the rooms like they kind of set it up that it was more like urban living and more like um more like in the city like there was one then that the backdrop like the wallpaper that they had was kind of like it made it look like it was a rooftop like if you had an apartment in the city and then you had like a rooftop that you could like go out, out eat dinner out on they had kind of like that they have more like country kitchen um and things like that um it was really cool to go in and see um, and when we went, the Ikea was packed. You can see my videos. There are just people everywhere. I mean, we aren't the only ones who like Ikea. Um, so, um, it was really cool. Um, it was really neat to get some ideas. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but we are really wanting to make some changes to our house once we get the money together. Um, our kitchen, we really want to open it up to the dining room and the front room and make it more of an open plan, open concept, because that's very popular nowadays. And um, so we're thinking about taking out where the fridge is, like that whole corner of the wall and take it out. We're actually thinking of getting rid of our front room and actually putting our dining room in the front room and then instead of where that dining room is, we're going to make the kitchen bigger and then we're also going to put in a walk-in pantry and a laundry room, which I am so excited about because the laundry room that we have is in the basement right now and it stinks lugging laundry all the way from the second floor all the way down to the basement. So we just wanted to get some ideas of different things. Um, how we want it to look, do, like, we wanted to see, does what Anthony have in mind, is that the same as what I have in mind? So we went and looked around, and we found some really cool stuff. Um, we actually fell in love more with um, stuff for our living room, which I don't think we really thought we were going to go in and think about that, but they had this really cool uh, setup. Um, and it was like a whole home entertainment system and it was basically like the TV was in the middle and then it was a bunch of cabinets surrounding it and the TV was like mounted on the wall which I really think looks really fancy. So we really like that and it was kind of like a darker theme um, and so it was kind of more expensive so but it was just a good idea of like what we would like and um, I think if we did go with that, we would have to reroute the cable because the cable right now has it so that the TV is um, up next to the windows and that wouldn't work with all those cabinets and everything surrounding the TV, so we would have to put it on the, on the wall behind me. I really wanted to find a mantle for our fireplace because our, we have a fireplace, but we don't have a mantle above it. But I didn't. I don't remember seeing any fireplaces there or anything like that. If you guys have any suggestions of where I could go look f and find some mantles for fireplaces, let me know down in the comments. Um, because I really think it would look really pretty, especially at the holidays. Um, and I could decorate and things like that. We want to change um, the countertops. Um, we kind of have like a fake 
granite. I really don't know what, what it is that we have right now, but Anthony kind of wants more either marble or granite or something really nice like that. So we were just looking around and, and seeing what there was with that and um, just different layouts that you could have. Um, I think we might change like our island and maybe put in two islands and maybe a higher bar area. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this house, which makes it really exciting, but yet it makes it really nerve wracking because of how long it might take. And it, you know, if you like remodel a whole kitchen or a whole side of your house, you can't just be like, okay, well, actually that was too hard. I'm just gonna give up. No, <laughs> because then it would just be like that forever. And eventually we have to sell this house if we wanna move. That won't be for many years, but still. So it's very like um, nerve wracking just getting into a project that big, especially when we've never really done anything like that. Anthony has helped build his own house, but I know I definitely have it. So we were just getting different ideas of things that we could um, do to the kitchen. Um, we want to replace all the cabinets, so we were looking at different cabinets. I think we both like more of a darker theme with cabinets. While we were there, we ended up getting a couple rugs, um, like welcoming mats to put on our doors. Yeah, we really didn't get that much. Um, what we really need to get right now are curtains and curtain rods. Um, because our house still doesn't have any curtains and so anybody could look in at any time and see what we're doing which is a little scary when you have neighbors that live really close to your house um, but overall the day was really fun with through going through Ikea um, I love shopping so I could have been there all day Anthony I think when we got to like section 8 he was already done and there was 26 sections so um, he was a trooper he went through every single one um, it was really fun. It was really fun to look at the kid area um, and see, you know, what a kid room, like what we could do with a kid room since we have a lot of bedrooms upstairs. Anthony was kind of like, I think he's still warming up to the idea of kids, but um, it was really cool to see all their, the room set up. They had a ton of couches to look at, a ton of beds to look at. Um, we got new pillows for our bed and for the guest bed. Um, and so I know it, we will definitely be going to, back to Ikea, Ikea several times. It's just great to have it as, um, as something to go to and something to always get new ideas for. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with us to Ikea. Um, I can't wait to take you guys on the next adventure. Bye.